The seasons have been toying with us over the last three months. The start of January gave us extreme cold temperatures. We had a full week of minus 45 degrees Celsius and so we decided to buy wood for our fireplace to keep our gas bill down. Although it's been cold, we really do love it here. The snow falls so beautifully from the sky, as if it was dancing. We are so lucky here in Alberta. We experience Chinook winds that blow from the Rockies. They dramatically change the temperature and melt the snow. Within one day, we can go from thick snow to this. And then back to snow again. And it gives us a nice little break throughout winter. Unfortunately our whole family got COVID and the kids only symptoms were a headache and a runny nose. Unfortunately Connor and I were bedridden for four days taking turns to look after the kids while the other one sleeps. We stocked up on healthy juices and vitamins and the kids kept occupied with art projects. The Wim Hof Ice Shower Challenge is something I've incorporated into my daily routine and I absolutely love it. The benefits are unreal and I recommend you Google it yourself. It breaks my heart to have to announce this, but our beautiful dog Harley's medical issues became too much for her and sadly we had to make a hard decision. Harley had an absolutely amazing life. I purchased Harley while I was at uni and still living at home with my folks. She travelled Australia with me and rode in the back of my ute. We slept under the Outback Stars together while travelling. I had Harley before I met Connor. Soon enough we had three dogs between us and even more adventures began. We lived on many farming properties and eventually Harley saw me become a mum to our two beautiful kids. Harley adored our kids and loved the ball to be thrown and loved any form of water, sprinkler, hose or even the ocean. 
Harley was lucky enough to fly to Canada with us for one last big adventure. We absolutely adored Harley and believe we gave her the best life possible. One of our big worries after Harley passed away was, will our other dog Wolf cope? However, to our surprise, the day after we lost our Harley, the neighbour's dog appeared in our yard. He had never ventured over to our property before. The two dogs enjoyed playing and have done ever since. I believe Harley sent him over. I never knew what love was until I held you. Never knew the right words until I found you. Many of you know that we have been planning to get horses for a while now. The first step was to get a horse shelter. The problem was, the yard where we wanted to put the shelter was too deep in snow for the truck and trailer to unload the shelter. To save money by not hiring an excavator, we tried a few ideas. First, we shoveled, but we encountered a few problems. Connor joked and tried lighting it with a lighter. Is there anything under that? <laughs> and then we decided to drive through it multiple times with our truck. The next three days after we cleared the snow, it snowed again. We approached our neighbour who kindly came over with his tractor and removed the snow within minutes. We thanked him with a bottle of red wine. Wolf! Come on! So, whew, walking through that deep snow is exhausting. Perhaps I'm extremely unfit. <laughs> well, come on this way. Came out here because I seen a crow eating something. And there's a lot of tracks. And I think it's a coyote didn't last very long out here. Oh, maybe a little fox. I think coyote must have went that way. That's a that's a coyote tracks out here. Just out in the back garden. Faded. But yeah, lots of different tracks out here, which we hear the coyotes quite frequently at night. They always seem very close, but you can see here just on this ridge there's there's paw prints running along there, so yeah, getting pretty close to the house. And you can see why this is um so exhausting to walk through. <laughs> it's the snow drifts. Some of them you can walk on top of and then some of them I break through obviously so 
<laughs> that drains it out of you. which is a hunting, fishing and camping store. Um, we just want to go, the kids want to get out the house and have a look at the taxidermed hunting, hunted animals on the walls and stuff. Uh, just going to stock up on a bit of camping gear as well as some hunting stuff. Really short of breath, um, still sorting out doctors at the moment. So yeah, walking down those stairs isn't why I'm short of breath. I just can't figure out why. So we're running through some tests and hopefully I'll figure that out soon because it's been three years. Of shortness of breath. Let's go. It was parked out in the woods, keys still in the ignition. All the cops were buzzing from somebody's bad decision. Call everyone you know, we found the evidence. Just don't let them see you when you jump across the fence. Somebody stole a beer truck. It don't matter who it was. Grab a can and drink it up. Best keep your mouth shut. Man, we're good to go. Yeah, we hit the mother load. There's more than enough for all of us. Somebody stole a beer truck. You can holler at the moon. Go splashing in the creek. You can get as rowdy as you damn near want to be. But don't build a bonfire. We don't need that attention. Ain't nobody driving home. Not in our condition. Somebody stole a beer truck. It don't matter who it was. Grab a can and drink it up. Best keep your mouth shut. Man, we're good to go. Yeah, we hit the mother load. There's more than enough for all. in the barn yeah we parked it everywhere the party went on all night long till all the beer was gone Somebody stole a beer truck. let's go to the mountains We've just stopped off on the way to the lake we're heading to because we need to get a parks pass. We um, haven't purchased one, we're going to buy one for the whole year and that gives us access to all the parks in Alberta. Is it all, all of Canada or just Alberta? I think it's all of Canada, isn't it? I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I actually think it's Alberta. We'll find out in a second. Oh my god, it's 
gone by, I'm just there, you'll have fun. Oh, no wonder they've got big barriers here. Maybe they're still there so it stops you. This is crazy. I feel like in 10 years people will be like, Matt, do you remember when mum and dad did that? That's not illegal now. Uh, do you think they put the snow here? Because maybe snow. Alright guys, we've stopped off on the side of the road. Um, we have to do our parks pass online, which is fine, but holy shit, the views are unreal. Very, very scary um, driving that road we still haven't finished Connor's just chucked it in four wheel drive but look at this view gonna get a few shots here of our uh, merch that we'll be selling on our website at westrancher.com very soon just got a few visa issues to sort out before we open it up properly hey buddy come hold my hand good boy look at that up there <laughs> yeah, imagine that. And if you go down here, you can see a beautiful river flowing through there, glistening in the sun. So pretty. I've seen the peak and valley. I've seen the stars come on. I crossed over oceans. You're the perfect storm Your poetry in motion I've never seen nothing like you Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Fall. Oh. Wow, look at that. I know it's not. We are currently walking on a frozen lake, and there is a bunch of um, ice fishermen and women. Uh, fishing down here and they've got all the tents set up and when I don't talk it is incredibly quiet okay Connor's talking so it's not really sure but uh on the way down here we saw about 12 dog sleds Tilly's begging us to take her so next year I think that'll be on the list hey so life of kids, uh, we get halfway down and the kids decide they want their glasses because of this reflection of the sun on the snow. So now we're walking back up and then there's a little picnic spot up here. So we'll go and have our lunch. We've got it all packed here. And if I look huge, it's because in my pockets, I've got all the kids gloves. They've handed them to me. So I look like the Michelin man. All right, we found a picnic table. It's full of snow. I'm trying to use a glove to wipe it off. Yeah, what you want. Did you make it? Oh, yeah. That was deep snow to walk through. <laughs> I'm a little scared of grizzly. Did you bring the bear spray, Connor? No. I'm sure there's enough people around that will be all right. Look at that. Yeah. So pretty. Yeah. Well, you've eaten your snacks, son. <laughs> Kids having their picnic. What have you got? Uh, muffins or something. So we've brought a few snacks with us, a bit of whiskey, <laughs> only kidding. Um, the whiskey is actually for us to um, take photos of some merch that we'll be selling soon. Um, so we needed it. That's a little hint to what we may be selling in the future on our website. But like I mentioned before, I'm having visa issues. My visa states I can only work in Merritt, BC, which is where the ranch was when we were living in BC. So. I need to do a whole bunch of visa stuff to change it over so I can work in Alberta because the business is in my name. The other option is changing the business into Connor's name. We wanted to keep the business in my name so then when we apply for permanent residency, it looks like we have two incomes. 
one from me, one from Connor, rather than all on his. And I'm so out of breath from that walk. <laughs> and also, um, yeah, the tax bracket. If he earns too much, then we get taxed more. It's better I earn something and then he earns something. So I'm going to go and enjoy my lunch now. So um, Connor, or well, the battery died, and then we took a different way back to the truck. And what happened was um, we went through a lot thicker snow than we thought we were. And Tilly and I fell, and Riley videoed it. it was I mean Riley, Connor videoed it. it was quite hilarious. And driving. Yeah, as I said before, the um, battery died, so I'm ending the vlog here. I'm using my phone at the moment. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed it. We cannot believe that this is the country we live in. We are so lucky and can't wait for spring to come to explore a little bit easier with the kids. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Meow.